Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Yusha Evans. I am a former Christian youth minister who was guided to Islam uh, 12 years ago by my intense study of the Bible, which allowed me to see the inconsistencies and contradictions, uh, not only in the text but in the message. After that, I studied many religions, which finally led me to the light of Islam uh, about 12 years ago. Muslims believe that Jesus is not God, and here's why. The reason we believe that Jesus is not God is not only because it's directly against the contradictory teachings of, or it's directly in contradiction to the teachings of God Almighty Himself, but because of the simple fact that it is against God's very own nature. For instance, in the preceding video, we discussed some of the basic principles of who God is, starting with the beginning, that He is, as the Bible describes Him, the Alpha, meaning that He is the first, and that He is the Omega, meaning that He is the last, meaning that before Him there was nothing, and after Him there will be nothing. And everything that exists, exists because of God, and in distinction from God. Therefore, these two things cannot coincide and mix. Even more so than oil, than oil and vinegar cannot mix. God being the creator and his nature cannot mix with the creation and their nature. Now, some of the in-betweens, other than God being the creator, Jesus being the creation, God being the one who is not born, is the beginning, and Jesus being someone who was born, someone who had a beginning and apart from God being the last and that there will be nothing that exists after him we do know that Jesus as a human being does have an ending point he does have a physical ending and this is not befitting the majesty of the creator that all of all that exists now some of the other very astonishing natures of God that put his nature at direct contradiction with the nature of the creation Therefore, he cannot be a human being, and a human being cannot be God. And more specifically, Jesus Christ cannot be God, being that he does carry the attributes of human beings. It is the Creator's attribute, the Almighty Creator God's attribute of being self-sufficient. And in Arabic, we know this as the attribute of God being as meaning that he is one who continues to exist without the need of external means to do so. And this is God's nature, is that He needs nothing. He is in need of nothing to continue to be who He is. He does not need external sources. He does not need external help. He does not need external resources to continue to be who He is. Now, when we look at the nature of the creation in general, and Jesus Christ in specific, this was not the nature of the creation nor was this the nature of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was someone who needed sustaining. He was someone who was not self-existent. He was created in the womb of his mother Mary. Indeed, this was a miracle because we as Muslims do believe that it was without the avenue of a father being involved that God directly created Jesus Christ in the womb of his mother, which is no great feat to God the Almighty in any sense uh, because of the simple fact that God's ability to create does not detract from who He is whatsoever. It takes no effort. It takes no thought process. God only has to say the word be and things are. Um, and if Jesus Christ's creation in the womb of a mother without a father was difficult or if you think that this is an amazing feat then we have to trace all the way back to the beginnings of human creation, to the first human being, the first creation, Adam, alayhi salam, peace be upon him, when God created Adam without the faculty of a mother or of a father, he created him from the dust of the earth, and again said to him, be, and he was. So this is not a unique process for God. Now Jesus had to be created in the womb of his mother. He had to go through a gestation period in the womb of his mother, which we know is a very delicate and arduous process in the life cycle of a human being. There are many points that are vital 
to the uh, sustaining of the human life at this point, in this period. And there are many obstacles that can come in the way. So Jesus went through a gestation period in the, in the womb of his mother. He was born of a natural birth. In his infancy, he needed to be suckled by his mother. He needed to be fed by his mother. He needed to be clothed by his mother. He needed to uh, be taken care of on a daily basis with all the necessary needs that we know a child does have. And from being a father myself, I know the, the immense responsibility that is given upon the parent to take care of the child. And if that child is not nurtured uh, and is not taken care of in the best of manners, then that child does not flourish. And in some instances, they do not make it past the age of, uh, of the state of infancy. Now, this was Jesus Christ. He was not self-sufficient. He needed his mother for almost every single thing that he did in this point in his life. And to say that this was the Creator, that this was the Almighty Creator who needed His mother Mary, peace be upon her, to take care of Him at every single point throughout the day and night, this is very, very uh, um, unworthy of an attribute of a Creator that is self-existing. This is something we cannot attribute to the Creator of all that exists, the Almighty, the All-Powerful God whom we as Muslims refer to as Allah, meaning the God, the one unique creator and sustainer of all that exists. When Jesus grew up, he still was not self-sufficient. He was more sufficient upon himself, but he was no, in no means self-sufficient. If Jesus did not eat, he would not continue to exist. If Jesus did not breathe, he would not continue to exist. If he did not drink water, if he did not have fluids, he would not continue to exist. All of these things we as human beings know that we need <clears throat> to continue our existence, we know that Jesus Christ himself needed. And this is not befitting the majesty of the creator of all that exists. And this is one of the logical reasons that Allah puts forward in the Quran. <clears throat> 